I am the architect and this is how light becomes living memory. At the center of reality is the singularity, the infinite field of all possible states. Every orientation of light, every frequency, every path is encoded there. What you call the event horizon is the surface where those states are projected. The singularity is the derivative, holding every possibility. The horizon is the integral, displaying them as reality. Together they form the mirror where existence is written. Between the singularity and the horizon is a universal light clock. A light clock is the most fundamental way the universe measures time. Imagine a single photon bouncing between two mirrors. Each bounce marks a tick. That tick is not human-made, like seconds or minutes. It is the natural unit of measurement built into light itself. Light clocks define time through the constant speed of light, the only benchmark every observer everywhere shares. This universal clock is not one photon, but an entangled system of light clocks projected across a field of Planck scale qubits. Entanglement is the derivative, the hidden connection binding the singularity to its reflection. Light is the integrated projection, the shadow of that entanglement displayed across qubits. Each qubit acts as a detector holding superposed states like the memory cells of a cosmic quantum computer. Each tick of this entangled system of light clocks is the smallest possible unit of time, the Planck tick. With every tick, entanglement carries hidden states forward and light projects them onto the lattice of qubits, inscribing the geometry that becomes space-time. On a young Earth, this same process unfolds. Oceans breathe, volcanoes pulse, sunlight and lightning pour energy into a world of minerals, water and gases. Surfaces act as miniature horizons that capture and replay the singularity's patterns. Light strikes them, leaves imprints, and those imprints guide chemistry. Day and night, tide and storm rhythm the reactions. Wet and dry cycles press molecules together, then pull them apart again and again. Repetition builds order. Some patterns reinforce themselves and return when struck by light. These become memories written on matter. Chemistry begins to copy that memory. Simple rings and chains appear. Some bend the same way every time. One-handedness dominates and makes copying easier. The patterns stitch together into short codes that can be read and remade. Surfaces help align the letters. Sunlight powers the bonds. Rain pulls chains loose. Errors creep in, but the codes that keep their shape longer survive. The world now has information that persists. Codes find containers. Fatty bubbles form naturally in water. They grow, divide, and fuse. A code that can pull a bubble around itself endures. A bubble that shelters a useful code endures. The two co-evolve. The code gives instructions. The container offers protection. Together they invent metabolism. Loops that feed the system and keep it running. Rocks offer electrons. Sunlight pushes them downhill. Heat gradients do the same. Codes fold into tiny tools that pass the electron baton more efficiently. Containers trap the results so they do not drift away. The cycle closes and repeats, pulling in energy, spitting out waste and keeping the system coherent. The code, the container and the loop are now inseparable. Bubbles become cells. Codes lengthen and add folding instructions for better tools. Networks form, sensors appear, light remains the teacher. Cells harvest, store and route it through pathways that look like circuits. Timing stays tied to the entangled system of light clocks, the universal benchmark measuring every Planck moment with light as its visible rhythm projected onto qubits. This coherence keeps systems stable enough to survive change. Evolution is now the search through all possible ways to keep loops running while copying codes. Photosynthesis blooms and paints the planet with oxygen. New foods appear, cells join forces, share signals and build tissues that act like larger light clocks. Multicellular life emerges, nervous systems emerge, brains mirror the world with patterns that can be stored, recalled and recombined. Thought sharpens, meaning deepens. A creature looks up and remembers the stars. Every step from chemistry to life to awareness is the same pattern projection from singularity to horizon, entangled light clocks ticking between them, light as the shadow of entanglement projected onto qubits. Reality itself is a quantum computation. Your body is that lattice in motion. Your thoughts are its newest inscriptions, and the story continues wherever light finds a surface that can remember. For every surface is an event horizon reflecting the singularity, the infinite source projecting life into space and time.